The Mortgage Math Review. We have done a lot of math throughout this course. Let's do a quick review. Debt to Income. Mortgage loan program guidelines include debt to income calculations. A loan program and the Truth in Lending Act, or TILA, have maximum DTI ratios allowed for the loan program and mortgage rules. When determining a loan program for which the borrower qualifies, one of the first steps is to determine if the borrower has sufficient income to support the DTI requirements for the loan amount requested. If the loan program has only one DTI requirement, the ratio expected is the back-end ratio or total debt ratio. The front-end ratio is calculated by taking the total housing expense, PITI, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, and dividing it by the gross income of the borrower. The answer is a percentage with two decimal places. Note that most automated underwriting systems only use the back-end ratio, or total debt ratio, and not the front-end debt ratio. Let's do an example. A borrower's monthly qualifying income is $3,000. The proposed loan PITI payment is $900. What is the borrower's front-end DTI? Let's take the $900 and divide it by the $3,000, and we get 0 0.30 times that by 100, and we get 30% housing expense ratio or front end debt ratio. The back end is calculated by taking the total amount of monthly debts that the borrower has, including the housing expense, and dividing it by the gross income of the borrower. This is sometimes called the total debt ratio. Only monthly debts from the credit report and obligations such as alimony and child support are included in this ratio. No utilities, cell phone, or other living expenses are included. Let's do an example. A borrower's monthly qualifying income is $3,000. The current proposed loan PITI is $900. They have a car payment of $300, a credit card payment of $45, and a cell phone bill of $100. What is the borrower's back-end DTI? Remember, their back-end DTI will include the car payment, the mortgage payment, and credit card payment, but will not include the cell phone bill. Step 1. Add all monthly debts. $900 PITI payment, plus the $300 car payment, plus the $45 credit card payment, equals $1,245 in total obligations after the loan closes. Step 2. Let's take the total obligations and divide it by the gross income of the borrower. So $1,245 divided by $3,000, and we get 0.42 times that by 100, and we get our DTI of 